PSA Reloaded, man. It's your boy, Three Letter Man. Subscribe to the channel, man. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Where to follow your boy at, man? Hit the like button. I appreciate that. Happy New Year again to everybody out there, man. Y'all see the title of this one, man. Let's talk. You know, we all, majority of us that's watching this right now, some of us that watch this channel, whether it's battle rap, hip-hop music, or just sports altogether, right? They always seem to intertwine how sports and music and rappers and music, rappers and sports all coexist, right? What I saw last night, bro, I'm 40-something years old. I'm watching football for <laughs> damn near almost 30, for 30, over 35 years I've been watching football. And Bill Safety, uh, DeMar Hamlin collapsed on the field. And I was in stable condition, tubes down this man's throat. And, and the funny thing about it is I, I had changed the channel for a second, right? I changed the channel. I was going to watch my NBA, whatever, last night. And I go back to ESPN. And then the first image I saw was quarterback for Buffalo Bills, Josh Allen in tears. And I'm thinking to myself, why is Josh Allen in tears? Then he panned over to Stephon Diggs, the wide receiver for the Buffalo Bills. And I'm like, I turn the TV up. And then I didn't see the play. It's an entirety, right? So obviously I'm gonna jump on social media as I did. And I saw the, the, the play, I can't retweet that. that. That's a hard, but that is a hard thing to watch, bro. That was just so hard to watch. You're watching grown men in tears. You're watching grown men holding hands and, and to watch a teammate of theirs, a brotherhood that's unconscious and needs CPR. Bro, I've never heard that before in football. Where, um, and then you watch the the play when T Higgins. And let me just say this: anybody blaming T Higgins, man, bro, don't do that. Don't don't do that. Don't don't don't, don't hit that man, fam. You, you think that man doesn't feel some type of way? Of course, brother. Football is a collision sport. All these brothers have families. They just try to do something they've been doing since they were six, seven years old, from playing pop one of football to middle school to high school to college to get to the pros. And to take care of their family. Right? And, and bruh. You see T here, they, they get tackled up his feet to see. DeMar Hamlin, stand up, bro. And then just drop back. For him to just drop back like that, bro, that, that's. I mean, T. Higgins, you looking, T. Wiggins, you're looking right there, T. Wiggins, pardon me. And you're looking, and you're like, bro. And That was sad. That was hard to watch, man. Like I said, I watched football for how many years, man? I go back to Joe Theismann and Lawrence Taylor when LT was like yelling at the Washington Redskins or the Redskins at the time, waving them, waving them to come in and check on Joe Theismann and everything like that. But I'm, I see Michael Irvin get in, in Philadelphia. I seen I seen um, Gordon Hayward when they played the Cavs, played um, the Celtics first game of the season when Kyrie and them was there, and. Never, nah, 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 I've never seen nothing like this, bro. This was very, this is hard. That was hard to watch. That was hard to watch. I'll be lying to y'all. Also, I'll tell y'all, you a little bit, why you cut the onions in the room? You, know, you just feel like, man, 24 years of age, second year safety for the Buffalo Bills. His mom is in the stands. Like, Watch your brothers hold hands, praying for DeMar Hamlin, is, you know. And then everything you see about DeMar Hamlin has been, he has a toy drive going on. This brother does a lot of stuff for the community. You you see pictures of him hanging with little kids and, like, come on, man. That's just, mm. And I also want to give a special shout out. I love the way how Ryan Clark and Scott Van Pelt really conducted themselves through this whole ordeal and everything like that. The way that they, they, they were just contrite with their words and stuff, you know. 
that's got to be tough, right? And I see people saying, oh, um, you know, NFL, somebody said, I heard the NFL took too long to cancel the game, bro. I mean, listen, I have no problem with how the NFL handled this, bro. What did you want them to do? They call an ambulance out. You got players crying on the field. They had to go back to the locker room. I'm watch, I'm, I got the, the thing on ESPN right now. You see dudes, like, bro, that, that's hard to watch, bro. Like, grown man, like in tears, bro, right? Mm. Mm. And, and we all know the city of Buffalo been through a lot, man. They've, got, they've had to deal with the mass shootings, right, last year. They've had to deal with the snow blizzard, hurting people, killing people, and now dealing with this. This is, like, crazy, bro. And also, shout out to the Cincinnati Bengals team. Shout out to the people I saw standing in front of the hospital, Bills fans, and a lot of Bengals fans also, man. You know what I mean? So... Shout out to the Midwest right quick on, on on that, man. And then now we get to Skip Bayless, man. Skip Bayless tweeted out, no doubt this was, no doubt the NFL is considering postponing. The rest of this game of this magnitude is crucial to the regular season outcome, which suddenly seems so relevant. Skip, we understand that you're known for shock value tweets and want to lure people into, your, you know, watch what you got to say, bro. But that that was kind of like, not kind of, that was, do you have a heart, bro? Do you have a heart of post? The last thing I was thinking about was playing of a game. Yes, I want to watch Joe Burrow and, and Josh Allen play. Yes, we all know the Bengals and the Bills is a big game. But the last thing in my mind was, okay, let this game, I don't want to watch this game. Like, that's not, that's, that's, you watch Bubba McFarlane talking with, with Adam Schefter, you can just see all the former NBA, NFL players, tweets and everything like that. And Skip, you're worrying about the outcome of a football game? When a guy's collapsed on the floor and need attention, CPR, and and you can't read the room, old head. You can't read the room. And you, you don't get to be in the room to read the room. Read the goddamn TV. You don't see what's going on in your screen. You don't see grown men crying. White players, black players, coaches. The one good, the one thing about sports, even though there's racism across the board, that does bring a lot of people together. It does. Patrick Mahomes praying hard, please be okay, man. Like, it's a brotherhood. None of these guys want to see nobody hurt, bro. This man's in critical condition, and you, 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 and then miss me with the backhanded compliment. Because some of you idiots on Twitter tell me, yo, you the part he goes, well, um, which suddenly seems so relevant. That's a backhanded statement, bro. After he tweeted out all that foolishness. And to, to, the, to the five of you who trying to stick up for Skip's last bar on the last line he did. Well, I can tell you this, the NFL plays ain't jacking that. A bunch of NFL plays ain't feeling that. You gotta be you gotta be a little bit sensitive here, bro. You can't read the room to know that, yo, dog, you're seeing grown men crying, hugging each other, consoling each other. You're watching the um Sherman, um the Buffalo Bills coach and the Cincinnati Bengals coach. Talk to each other like, like hugging each other, bro. You see Josh Allen and Joe Burrow. Joe, Joe Burrow's over there consoling Josh Allen. This ain't about the game right now, bro. This ain't about what your prep time for tomorrow. You and Shannon to talk about this. And I feel bad for Shannon because Shannon, you've had to sit across this man. And I don't blame Shannon. Let me just throw this out there. To endure this man's foolishness. And people coming at Shannon like it's Shannon's fault with Skip saying you can't get mad at Shannon for the stuff Skip says. That don't make no damn sense. I saw Kendrick Kendrick Perkins tweet to Skip saying you're a sick individual. It's not about shock value tweets though, Skip. You look crazy out here, man. You do understand this man is fighting for his life, bro. Fighting for his life in stable condition. You don't see a bunch of grown men crying for no reason, dogs. Skip, you really couldn't read the room? 
I, I really want to tune in to see what you had to say. I really see Lisa Salter's last night. She could barely keep herself together. You hear Scott Van Pelt's voice cracking a couple times. Ryan Clark. You could tell these people want to. They want to break down. You could tell by their face. It's your boy Three Man. Leave comments at the bottom. Tell me what y'all think, man.